Hey, what's up, everybody? This is attorney Dan X. Wayne coming at you, uh, sharing a little bit of information about corporations and what happens if you don't maintain uh, good standing with the California Secretary of State. Now, um, uh, a corporation could be suspended usually two ways. The first one, if it's uh, Secretary of State suspended, which means you haven't filed your uh, annual or biannual statement of information. Biannual if you're LLC, annual if you're a corporation. And you're supposed to fill this out and file it every year. It's really easy. Just fill on the California Secretary's website. And now you can file them electronically, uh, at least for the corporations. And they're going to ask for you, like, current company uh, address, name of your officers, uh, directors, and addresses, um, what business you're doing. And, um, uh, uh, and um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, but a lot of people forget to do this every year. And what happens is every year um, it, it, uh, you forget to do it. Um, uh, there's more, um, uh, you're going to end up in suspension. I, I recently looked up one. I think they didn't file one for like 10 years. And so um, uh, to get it out of franchise, uh, Secretary of State suspension, you just got to file um, a new one. So it's usually easy, pretty easy to get out. The other way is actually, um, the other suspension is uh, franchise tax board suspension, which means usually you haven't paid your annual franchise tax um, um, uh, each year which is $800 uh, due um, every March 15th. And uh, if you have a short year, uh, about four years and 15 days after you start your company. So um, you had to pay this one every, every year. And if you don't, uh, you will get suspended by the um, uh, Franchise Tax Board and it'll show up as um, a suspension on the California Secretary of State. Now, what happens if your company is suspended, right? Um, it's uh, first, um, Think about how to get out of suspension as fast as you can because you lose a lot of rights and privileges if you are uh, secretary, I'm sorry, franchise tax were suspended, right? Um, you lose your uh, right to use the business name. Uh, another business come in and use the name and then you'd have to come and start a new business with a different name. Um, you cannot uh, initiate or defend lawsuits uh, or enforce your, your contracts, but the uh, other parties can enforce the contracts against you and um, uh, and that uh, that means like you have to get your company out of suspension first before defending the lawsuits. And um, uh, you can't you, you lose a lot of like enforcement rights if you are a California um, franchise tax franchise uh, tax board suspended. So it's really important to calendar um, um, that March fifteenth day and payment. Set aside the necessary money to do so because it's, it's, you lose a lot of things if you are um, Secretary of State suspended. So um, get that on your system, set aside the $800 every year to, to, to pay that so you don't lose your rights and uh, maybe your business, all right? So this is Attorney Dan X coming at you. Pay your $800 and your franchise tax every year uh, when it's due, and I'll talk to you later.